NFL on EA Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and leave their offenses on the gridiron today. It's Wilson's Seahawks going up against Carr's Raiders. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, apart from a 13-year gap in L.A., we are at the home of the Raiders since 1966. But how much longer will they be playing football in Oakland, California? Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Seattle Seahawks and the Oakland Raiders. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and short. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Second and one if people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So it'll be first down here after the run. Hey, we're going live, baby. Alert! Alert! We ready? Red 18! Again, it's Murray. And he's got it across midfield and down to about the 47-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. They'll send Gordon in motion left. The snap comes at one, and it's Carr. Over the middle, Cooper with it. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Walford in motion, the tight end. Carnell on first down. Throw left side to the tight end, Walford. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Ten yards on the pick up there. Good enough for an Oakland first down. Every quarterback likes having a reliable target at tight end, and I think young quarterbacks especially because they want to get the ball out of their hands quickly. I think these two, Derek Carr and Clive Walford, that's a pretty good connection for years to come for Oakland. Yeah, he started to come on strong end of his rookie year. Now the Raiders really hoping for that second-year jump out of Walford. First down, Murray. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Now Carr throwing on second down. Flush to his right. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Call it a three-yard game, and that is going to set up a third and one. Well, sometimes we talk running backs, sometimes we talk wide receivers. Walford, the tight end in this unit, very important. Clyde Walford, a terrific player. Knows how to work the inside portions of the field, but also can surprise you and get deep. 
a nickel look by Seattle on third down. Yep, five defensive banks now. And this is going to be incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it brings up fourth down. On now is the field goal team. Here is the Raiders. We'll try for three. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So the folks here in the stands this afternoon, they're happy about that when their guys get the early advantage after the opening drive field goal. And they should be happy. Their guys look good getting down the field, and that's got to give them hope that good things are in store here today. Tyler Lockett now with a return. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They come up at an offset eye. First carry for Thomas Rawls. And the cutback to the sideline. There goes Thomas Rawls. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Thomas Rawls, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. And he'll bang that one through. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one taken from the seventh. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And now here come the Raiders. Murray now as they run it to start the drive. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll come out in the pistol. They go with Murray again. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. No matter what defense is called versus a running play, linebackers are telling the defensive guys up front, you take care of the offensive line, keep us uncovered, let us run to the ball, we'll make big plays. Well, that paid off there. All the guys up front, the big fellas, they controlled the five offensive linemen. That allowed the linebackers to see the openings, sprint through the gap, and snuff that play out in a hurry. Halfback sent in motion. Throwing his car on third down. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Jake Shum to punt it away. Back deep for the Seahawks, the all-pro returner for 2015, Tyler Lockett. And this will be touched down across midfield at the 45-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But what about them just taking it? Big time, John. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. In this O-line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They establish the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Gavin Escobar is big tight end with the intended receiver. And it's third down. And the offense needs seven out of this play on third down. The wide receiver moving to a new spot. On third down, Wilson. And he locates Josh Hill, complete. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. 
Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon hits the Seahawks with a football to begin quarter number two, and they've got it here with a first down. Now Wilson on first down. It's caught on the left side by Kurz. It'll go as a gain of 10 there, and that'll be good for a Seattle first down. I'm sure as a coach, when you throw the flag, you hold your breath, then you get the verification you were right, a sigh of relief. Not only a sigh of relief, a little vindication as well, because every time you pull that red flag and throw it, you could be costing your team a timeout. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew, incomplete here. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude. But I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And it's caught, the tight end Hill. And now they're inside the ten as he's brought down at the nine. Give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. Defense showing blitz. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. They run with a power back. Rolls. And now lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. They went backwards five yards there on third down to break up fourth. And his kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. Now Whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And now Oakland ready to take the field. scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. Crashing in from the end there, not to disrupt the pass game, but to disrupt the run game. Yeah, I love the distinction too because the good defensive ends, they can do it all. Set the edge in the run game, make sure that no one can move it that way, and of course rush the passer. On that play, use his speed to get there in the run game. Here go. On second down, here's Carr. Saluting the pressure right. He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Jermaine Kurz. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. But they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. One receiver left, three to the right. Car to throw on second down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. We ready! 
They go play action for Murray. Now Carr. He's got his man, Jared Everdaris. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. They'll try and run for it with a power back. Reese. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. And a great spot to start this drive from here. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Pardon me, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. Now it's Wilson. It's complete to lock it. 15 yards there on the catch and run. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? First down, this is Rawls. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Thomas Rawls with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And it's up and good. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. Shotgun now for Carr. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And that'll make it third down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Carr now to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch-counterpunch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got to a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> if you love pressure, we'll, I love we'll it. see if they dial it up this drive. And when you have a guy in the backfield who can catch the football, you don't just use him strictly for check downs or dump offs. You make him part of the primary passing attack because what you're trying to do is get him into open field and then let him make people miss and advance the football. Second down now after the pass completion. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. 
Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. They come out here in the eye. On the ground, rolls. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Third and goal, Wilson. Dancing to his left. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it, incomplete. It looked like he might have had a window there, but the rhythm was just a little bit off. It certainly was, because everything that has to come together to get a pass completed, yeah, you're right. The sink just wasn't there. So they get the three, increase their lead to close out the half. Excellent way to end a drive. Go into the locker room with a little bit of extra momentum after adding three to their total. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. So we've come upon halftime with the visiting Seahawks. They're out in front as we will send you eastward to Orlando and Larry Ridley. He's standing by with our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Larry. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And the Seahawks, looks like they've recovered. They have a very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators. They sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I'm guaranteeing he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Second and ten now, Wilson. He'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And he's brought down. 15 yards there on the catch and run. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. On first down, Wilson. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. 14, 14. Right, jump off, jump off. Got it, got it, got it. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. I don't care how many times you tell the story. It never loses its luster for me. Doug Baldwin undrafted out of Stanford and plays and he will score touchdown Seattle Doug Baldwin his first touchdown here of the new campaign and the Seahawks offense continues to pour it on and they're able to up the lead by one more set now to kick this one away and off it goes this will be fielded at the 8. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And, and now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. And his guys will take over at the 14-yard line in the red zone. The 
Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on it. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Well, after getting the ball in prime position to score after a fumble recovery, you think you're in a great spot. But the defense on the field is saying not so fast, and they've held firm on the first two plays. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll bring up a second and goal. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now it's Wilson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. C.J. Procise was the intended target. Third down here. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about it. And he's across the chalk, into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Thomas Rawls, his third touchdown of the season, all coming in this game. And the Seahawks capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. This one taken from the seven. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, do I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. One receiver to the left is Cooper. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Throwing now is Carr. Looking deep in the direct. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. A great read, and it's picked off. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. They come out here in the eye. They go again with Rawls. And some room to maneuver. And he's brought down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Here's Wilson. Baldwin with it over the middle. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the eight-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. A lot of receivers see the drag route as a risk-reward type of a play. The risk, going into the middle of the field where there's some big people who want to hit you. But the reward is oftentimes you get lost in coverage, running a little bit underneath. And when you catch it just right, as we just saw there, the end result could be a big, big play. 
Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one. Maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. On second down, Wilson. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Khalil Mack from that outside linebacker spot. He's able to get in there for a loss of nine. Now after the sack, here's third and goal from the 20. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Third and long, it's Wilson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the left hash, this from 37. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now, with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Gets it to Gordon. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards. And it'll be a second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Car now to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Carr looking to throw on third and two. Cooper's got it. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. All right, here we go. Carr now on first down. That's complete. It's Gordon. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Raiders are going to get a new set of downs. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Carr. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the all-pro free safety, Earl Thomas. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. On second down, here's Wilson. They complete it to Hill. And he's brought down. The 15 yards there on the catch and run. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Here we go. Right the end. Out of the wildcat, a wide receiver carry. Forced out to his left. It's a gain of six on the play, and it's a second down. Second down, Rawls. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Eight yards on the pickup there, and it moves the sticks. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. 14, 14, run it. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And a loose football. Rawls loses it. But I believe a Seahawk was able to get a handle on this, so this will remain Seattle ball. Offense with a fumble, but they recover it, and it brings up second down. The busy afternoon continues for Rawls. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. 
And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Raiders. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other five. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. <laughs> Car again here on second and ten. Brought in by Walford, right side. It'll be a gain of four. And that'll lead here to a third down. And now they're in the hurry up. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They were full scale, loose, flexible, finding a way to catch the ball in some traffic for a key first down. They're really a nice job of adjusting to the ball in the air. Not the most accurate of throws, but able to adjust and make the grab. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. The big tight end, Clive Walford, the intended target. And that'll bring up second. And down. Well, in tapping those toes, he tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You're going to put the sand down on the stage. I'll take your word for it, my man. It's a big play there for Oakland. 44 yards. And quickly, they get to the line. They go play action here on first down. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. Hello, oh, baby, alert! Alert! Zebra! Zebra! Here we go! Carl will try it again on second down. Flushed out right. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. All right, say it with me now. There are a lot of different words we come up with. Maybe we go back and forth after that play, getting his toes tapped down to make that catch. Crafty. Yeah. Wiley. Oh, definitely. All the veteran names. You name it. Has every move. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one at the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Well, I do have one word for that touchdown for you, partner. You ready? Yeah. Cosmetics. <laughs> Just makes things look a little better. I don't know. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. Yeah, and it's hard, it's hard to do, too. And the pig doesn't like the lipstick a heck of a lot, but you do like the fact that they're battling down the stretch, still trying to put something on the board, even though this game is over. By the way, how rude is that to the pig? <laughs> look at all the things they give us. Pulled pork, bacon, and out now come the Seahawks. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. Is that Woody he would have it on the ground. <laughs> So here we go, first and ten now. Back to the ground on first. Again, it's Rawls. Oh, he's got a little daylight. The 20. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. Big run here in the fourth as they continue to wear down this defense. And that's when the offensive line coach clicks onto the headset and says, head coach, offense coordinator, let my guys fire out and hit people. We're wearing them down. Let's finish them off with the running game. They'll try to run with Rawls. 
and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And he just tied the NFL record on that fifth rushing touchdown. He's the sixth man ever to do that in a single game. And, partner, did you just say that he tied an NFL record there? Yes, sir. I mean, we're talking five touchdowns on the ground against an NFL caliber defense. Is that good? I'd say that's fantastic. <laughs> what a game for him. It really is something. We are watching quite the effort. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was... This is caught inside the 15. A big play there. Carter Cooper, 65 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. Flush to his right. It's a gain of five. And that'll make it third and goal. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. One receiver to the left is Cooper. Red 18! Red 18! Carr now on third and goal. And that is incomplete. Torrey Smith, the intended receiver. And now it's fourth down. Maybe one final chance here to make this a bit more respectable. As he'll go for it on fourth and goal. All right, here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Now Carr, got to have this one. Escaping the pressure right. And my goodness, another interception. A great read, and it's picked off. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everybody.